Bullet Team, what's up, y'all? I know y'all been waiting on these voiceovers, been waiting on the tapes. It's safe to say we back, back at it again. About to give you guys a play by play, let you know what happened at the Pylon tournament, man. Coming off winning our first tournament, going 8 0. Now we're playing at Pylon, uh, playing against a Louisiana elite team. And uh, let's get right to it. So, overall, I would say that we didn't do what we were supposed to do at this tournament because we did not win the tournament. However, we we definitely got better from this tournament because it's a lot of stuff that we learned um, that needed to happen. So we learned how to handle this in the future. Um, you know, never want to make excuses or point the finger, but we all know we could have walked away with this tournament trophy easily. Um, great competition was there. We didn't execute when the time came down to it and came up short. But I'll talk to you guys about that when the time comes. First, let's talk about the first game. I thought we started off great. Uh, first drive, we had wristbands this tournament. Um, went in the way for our guys to play faster. Batiste right here, too easy. Money, J Boogie. Watch out for him in the ski Class of 2023. Expecting big things from him this season. One of those guys that can be a running back, receiver, kick return, punt return. Just an athlete. Has speed. Has hands. Has exactly what you want in a football player. Now let me highlight this first play, my man, if, if, if this is the play that I remember, my man Kevin, number six here, undercuts, he's guarding the number three receiver in the slot on the quarterback's right That's side, right. Ellis takes him, okay, now undercut, make the play, come on Kev, come on Kev, come on Kev, Great break, but make the play. Finish it, man. Gotta finish that. Definitely got to get better at our man-to-man -man coverage. Um, I want to see us challenge receivers more. I want to see my safeties more active. Um, I don't want to play on our heels. We want to be the aggressor on defense. But be aggressive with your eyes, not your hands. And after five, you got to let go. Bad eyes is how receivers get open. Having discipline, having discipline eyes, putting them in the right spot places it's gonna be hard for someone to get open on you having bad eyes lunging reaching it's a recipe for disaster when you play db you play with your eyes and your feet move your feet keep your eyes low watch what happens never panic always play the hand extra point coming up right here to run play a pile line they can't do that that's on me. We was not prepared for that. In the pylon tournaments, they can run the ball. Gotta talk to the turning director for the reason why you can run the ball in seven on seven. But from my understanding, is to keep linebackers and defensive backs honest. 
because in my opinion, seven on seven is all passing. So it is what it is. Not the best pass there, but still can be caught. Still expect that to be caught by Jacob, but also expect Gage to put him more in front of him. But that's just coaching for perfection. They'll be doing them a discredit, disservice. I told them that's okay. We want our guys to be the best. When you're the best, you make them throws and you make them catches. But the one thing about my guys that I love, they don't complain, they just answer. I could vouch for all the guys on this team. Look at the effort right here. Check him out. Get out, young blood. Show the speed. Show the speed. Show the speed. Show the effort. Play ain't never dead. I've been very impressed with the receivers we have on this team due to the fact that none of them are selfish. We don't have no me guys or guys that don't get the ball, they're crying. Everybody's coming back to the huddle asking how, what do they see, or if they do something, who's going to be open. Nice connection here. Jesuit connection. The gritty. <laughs> uh, Got to talk to those guys about that dance. Young blood, keep doing it though. It's gonna go viral at one point. Crep, Crep does it one time and the camera finds him. Young blood been doing it every time. Keep going, young blood. See, like we gotta, we have to get our PATs. That needs to be automatic. We, before next tournament, we're gonna have designated PATs, one point or two point plays. That will be automatic. We have some now, but we have to execute those. Those are the little things that we practice a lot. I remember at college going against two point plays or red zone plays. And now on the other side of the fence is a coach I see a lot because they're critical later in the game. Catches. My, my corners and my safeties and nickels are all athletic, so I expect the most of them. They can all run and cover, run and play with the best of the best receivers. I'm not just saying that to say it. Nice turnovers. That's Bryson comes in, first tournament back making plays. First tournament back making plays. We get that. Luke. Um, I 
don't know why you why he threw the helmet up, but I love the I love the energy. First tournament back, Bryson making plays. That's exactly what we need and expect from him. Now let's see how we start back off. After an interception, it's time to take a deep shot. And ha! Touchdown. I see you, Crip. I see you, Crip. This is how it should look every time. This is exactly how it should look every time. When we go for one and we go for two, it's money all day, every day. That needs to be the standard, that will be the standard. It should be automatic. It's so hard to cover in the red zone. You have to be real disciplined with your eyes. There's no reason why we can't get open or when our one on one in the red zone. Now defense is back door with another turnover, with another big stop. He wasn't going to catch that anyway, so he could just run side by side with him. That's good coverage right there, Ellis. Ellis was big for us. I mean, it really ended up hurting us. Ellis ended up hurting us throwing this tournament. And uh, losing him at that nickel spot really hurt. He's been a player that's been stepping up. But we need him to take that next step and become a guy, the guy at that nickel spot. I love the communication with your kids. Uh, let me see him play behind me. Play call on this was good. I can't even lie. They motioned their outside receiver <laughs> to running back and ran a 12, 13 yard corner. Our safeties can be there to help out on that. We're gonna talk to them on film. They have to, we're not seeing the field. But what a what a play call on third and long. I don't know if Coach drew, drew that up back there. It looked like he did off the dome. But that was a good play. And hats off to that. And we get stuck in the mud and got bailed out. Come on, Ellis. Just talked you up, Ellis. Come on now. Don't let me regret it, man. Big time stop right here. Now's the time for a pick. Somebody gonna make a play. Somebody gotta make a play.
go ahead and score one more time real quick. See what we got. Let's open it up. Can't do it with a drop. That's not what I meant. But watch the bounce back. Bang, Rossi, Mr. Clutch. Too easy. Sometimes you just go up and go over somebody. Go up and go over them. Laugh about it afterwards. Too easy, Mr. Crep, Mr. Roy, that Jesuit connection, we love to see it, they hate it, we love it, more to come, and some more gritty, by my man Youngblood, we gotta get him a feature on the gritty man, it's time for him to shine, too much talent, on and off the field, Blake Youngblood, check him out.
overall, man, um, it was definitely a good first win. I didn't want to give up this, you know, last second drive at all. Don't never want to give teams nothing, but we knew we had this game in the bag. And the good guys, they start off the second tournament the right way with the victory. The good guys, not selfish, hungry, love football. Bunch of guys that just love the grind, man. It's a good team, good bunch. And uh, look forward to winning more games with this team. But next up, we will have. Oh, come on, Ellis. We can't end like this. Why well, give him that at the end? Anyways, next up, we got the uh, bootleggers. Heard a lot about them. Um, we'll put them to the test. See how they how they are and uh, go from there. But this game we started off the right way, got the W as expected. Did what we said we was gonna do. Gotta keep moving forward. Nah, but gotta keep being better. Stay humble and hungry. Man. Enjoy the game, love the game. Nobody got hurt. We love to see it. We love to see it. The good guys take game one. 27-18. If you like, please share, comment, subscribe. Keep following the journey.